Tom Cheshire, and uh, I write songs and um, stories, and I guess you could say jokes and poems, and just, you know, kind of just random thoughts. And I don't even know what they are anymore. It's, I guess they're called snippets. You know, just, you know, a few words here and there for, for folks who have, uh, don't have big attention spans. <laughs> Um, I grew up in Queens, New York City, um, Richmond Hill, kind of Kew Gardens, Forest Hills area. Um, Forest Hills mainly known for two pretty cool bands, Simon and Garfunkel and the Ramones, nice. you know, and, uh, and Geraldine Ferrara, politician, but uh, it's a really, really great area, about 15 to 20 minutes out of Manhattan. Um, all my joke problem wolves. Credit for, but um, I can't. Marlo Sanchez came up with that name, and it's uh, the last line in um, White Man and Hammersmith Palais by The Clash. He goes, I'm the all night drug problem wolf who looks so sick in the sun. And um, it's a really beautiful lyric and as disturbing as it can be. And Marlo's like, You're not going to want to tell your mom the name of your band, you know. Um, but it's also something like spiritual and poetic and romantic about it, you know. And it's a mouthful. Definitely, you know, and there's bands that have like, you know, that mouthful, like this bike is a pipe bomb and uh, you'll know us by the trail of the dead, but somehow it spits off the tongue pretty nice. Actually, Marlo came up with the name Rent Boys, I have to say, and when, uh, he played bass in Rent Boys and me and Mike Sheeter were, you know, mainly writing most of that stuff and and uh, I was like, God, Marlo's attention is just a brilliant guy and he was like, we should call ourselves Rent Boys, you know, and that was even funny because it was in the 90s. And the internet wasn't very big, you know, and I remember like people started looking things up and my mom at one point was like, I looked up the name Rent Boys, you know, she's like, do you mean there are actually people out there who rent boys? And I was like, no, you know, um, it means I never have money for rent. Um, a lot of like really, really bad bands that um, the only thing would be able to mention would just be the names. Okay. <laughs> like, I mean, no, I didn't know how to play and I still really don't know how to play. But um, like myself and my brother would make up, you know, band names and basically would bang on a box and a kick drum and rap kind of thing. Like right. Three Men With Bats, um, Condemnation, uh, Urination, stuff like that. Those are the band names? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Three Men With Bats I really liked a lot, you know, because is obviously double meanings, you know. You know, we like to talk about our yaks, you know, but it's basically our crotches, you know. Yeah. So, you know, it's good stuff. Um, 17, late bloomer. I wish I could say I was 12 and it was, you know, a French prostitute with a Puerto Rican tickler, but it wasn't, you know. It was 17 with a girl I thought I loved, you know. I'm not going to mention her name, but, you know. Um, I thought I was amazing. I think it lasted about 11 seconds. I mean, I love all kinds of music, seriously. You know, all kinds of music, everything, you know, but I, I, I think my favorite songs have always been like really simple, pop punk two minute songs with rough vocals, but pretty smart and witty and catchy lyrics, you know, so I mean, I don't know, I don't know who you think that is, you know, but I just, you know, like telling a quick story and I love to see someone who says, holy shit, you know, that was awesome and do this, you know, and sing along to it, you yeah. know, whether it's the Pogues or, you know, Stiff Little Fingers or yeah. even Johnny Cash, you know, you speed a song up like that and that, that could be a punk song, you know. Um, well, actually, that's really funny you mentioned that. Um, I picked three. I can't, I'm not one, three. Um, a song called Take the Place that I wrote for the Rent Boys, which was, yeah, um, that's, that definitely was like one of my favorite songs. Awesome. And then a song I wrote called Dirty Your Heart uh, for All My Joke Problem Wolves. And then Under My Skin, which is written about my wife, which is pretty much the first song I wrote under the name Western Motel, me and Brent. And Under My Skin is, you know, it's 
that's that's a skin crawler, you know. It's under my skin, it crawls under your skin, and then the other two are straight up toe tappers. You know, they like you know you dance to them, you know, sing along. But just man, mainly vocals. I mean, you know, I took guitar lessons as a boy. My parents actually gave us a lot of different lessons. Took guitar lessons, um, um, vocal lessons, dance lessons, um, seriously, and quit all of them, which is a terrible thing. And basically, I've been a quitter my whole life, which is horrible. Um, you know, quit dance lessons because I didn't want to get beat up. Now I wish I would have kept them. I'd be tap dancing in your face. You know, I mean, like I, I, I wish I would have kept all of them. But um, no, I, I really didn't have to do anything. So I'm not kidding around. I really did like rap and just kind of scream and you know bang on a kick drum and like a you know a bucket. You know. Um, but since then, um, I'm taking my songwriting a lot more serious, and I've been fooling around with like you know. Took on the ivories and uh, playing these little Casio keyboards. I have to write the notes down on them and everything. But uh, but um, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of a few songs over the past few years. Awesome. Yeah.